Psalms, Tehillim, chapter 74. Why have you rejected us forever, God, with your anger smoking against the sheep you once pastured? Remember your community, which you acquired long ago, the tribe you redeemed to be your very own. Remember Mount Zion, where you came to live. Hurry your steps to these endless ruins, to the sanctuary devastated by the enemy. The roar of your foes filled your meeting place. They raised their own banners as a sign of their conquest. The place seemed like a thicket of trees, with lumbermen hack away with their axes. With hatchet and hammer they banged away, smashing all the carved woodwork. They set your sanctuary on fire, tore down and profaned the abode of your name. They said to themselves, We will oppress them completely. They have burned down all God's meeting places in the land. We see no signs. There is no prophet anymore. None of us knows how long it will last. How much longer, God, will the foe jeer at us? Will the enemy insult your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand? Draw your right hand from your coat and finish them off. God has been my king from earliest times, acting to save throughout all the earth. By your strength you split the seas in two. In the water you smashed sea monsters' heads. You crushed the heads of Leviathan and gave it as food to the creatures of the desert. You cut channels for springs and streams. You dried up rivers that had never failed. The day is yours and the night is yours. It was you who established light and sun. It was you who fixed all the limits of the earth. You made summer and winter. Remember how the enemy scoffs at Adonai, how a brutish people insults your name. Don't hand over the soul of your dove to wild beasts. Don't forget forever the life of your poor. Look to the covenant, for the land's dark places are full of the haunts of violence. Don't let the oppressed retreat in confusion. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, God, and defend your cause. Remember how brutish men insult you all day. Don't forget what your foes are saying, the ever-rising uproar of your adversaries.